evening, friends of the Inner Sanctum. This is your host to welcome you once again through that creaking door. Come in. Ah, oh, come on in. Feeling nervous? Tense? Well, I'll sit right next to you. And you can hold these two hands. Oh, your friend's upset too. Well, don't worry. He can hold these other two hands of mine. <laughs> it's in a sanctum story. Killer's Choice. An original screenplay by John Robert. Starring Warren Stevens with the Sam DeSantis. Wait. Stop torturing yourself, Lomax. He's dead. I can't wish him alive. We were close, Sergeant. Very close. Yeah, brothers. Twins at that. Always the same get-up as kids. Same talk, even. One face. My old man used to make one of us wear a ring. So we can tell us apart. One face, Sergeant. I'm lying there with a bullet in my head. It's me. Try to remember him at a happier time. He's gone. You've got a life to live. I'll only remember him like now. Dead. Deliberately murdered in cold blood. You don't know that. There's two points of view on it. Only one truth. I know it. I know what happens now. By the end of the week, the DA will decide if you have enough facts to warrant an indictment. We hope to have all the information by then. You'll have your say, too, in the DA's office. In the meantime, you've got a burial to attend to. Mr. Amo, slow mics. I have here the sworn statement of Ben Campos as given to me. Ben Campos, at this time, nominally, the accused. The killer! Snow Max, please. To summarize its contents, rivalry over a woman. Rivalry between the deceased and the accused. A trial, let's say. An older man jealous of his attractive wife and a younger man seeking her favors. An old story. Was the triangle actual? Who could say? We simply don't know. I've heard no denial from the wife of the accused. Bad feeling between two men. An employer and his countermen. Bad feeling climaxed by quarrel, gunplay. In this statement, Mr. Campos swears that the deceased Roy Lomax held a pistol to him, and in the ensuing struggle, the pistol was discharged accidentally. He's a liar. My brother never owned a gun. Roy was gentle, too gentle. Always walking away from a fight. Don't tell me about my brother. We've done everything we can to investigate the facts, find out what really happened. Sergeant Kennedy did his best. A life was taken. However, in the absence of witnesses... I've got a witness. Him, Remo. He was eating in Campos' restaurant when it happened. He saw Campos shoot my brother in cold blood. Campos owned gun. He saw him take it from a drawer. Well, go ahead, you tell him. Yeah, sure. Well, I was eating at the place the same time every night. Chili con carne, it's a special dish Campos makes. I, uh, I saw the shooting, I saw the young fella get shot. The young fella, he, he held out a gun. And the camp was there, he got scared. You never saw anybody so scared. And the young fella, he pulled the trigger, but the gun didn't go off, it, it was jammed. So campus grabbed the young fella, they, they wrestled around, and then the gun went off. I saw the young fella's face, the, there was a hole in his head and blood, and, that's what I saw with my own eyes. You liar. Dirty, perjuring liar! Bailey. That's not what he told me. He's reversed himself. He's been bought off. Campos got to it. Are you willing to swear to this, Mr. Raymond? Yeah, sure, I'll swear to it. Anything. 
Let's step over there for my place. I could go before the grand jury. I could ask for an indictment. But I don't think I'll get it. You're telling me that Campos will walk away from murder just like that, Scott Free? From now on, that's my religion. Take a good look. I'm the man you killed. One face. You're going to see a lot of it. In the short time you've got left, you're going to see a lot of it. you got from Campos. Coffee. Well, I ordered coffee. Memories, maybe? No. Memories faded out, huh? Okay, let's see if we can stir them up. Now, I'll bet this is the same apron. Freshly laundered. No blood. Oh, correction, I was wrong. See, some stains never wash clean. Well, I'm your new counterman. The last one quit cold. How do I look? It's uncanny. Looks like Roy, huh? And he worked here? No. Oh? Hmm? Roy had a laugh. Here in his eyes. He had a laughing face. Not lately. Not when I saw him last. What's the good of you coming here? Ah, beanery without a chef. How can the joint function? Slap it. No boss around to total up the cash. How can the joint function like this? It's my place. I'm in charge here. Only until Campos gets back. Maybe Campos isn't coming back. He can't stay away forever. The beanery might mean nothing to him, but you do, Vera. Man doesn't desert a wife. He's committed murder to keep. You'll start worrying about what you're up to. The new bow in your eye. And you'll come tearing back. I don't have to look for compos. You missed your big chance, Vera, to get rid of compos. And you muffed it. All you had to do was tell the truth that day in the district attorney's office. Come in. Sit down, Lomax. I had you brought in to save you from yourself. Very considerate. Reality. You've got to face up to it. My brother was killed. And his killer went free. Even assuming that's the truth. Assuming that justice did miscarry for lack of evidence that would have ensured a conviction, the killer doesn't go free. Campos did. In a deeper sense, I mean. A man can't just kill and then shrug it off, go about living as usual. Conscience, Lomax. Speaking of conscience, don't underrate conscience. It's no good, Gregory. I've got a mechanical mind. 
with an eye for an eye. You can't take the law into your own hands, Lomax. Murder Campos, and it'll be your finish, too. Your moral justification won't help you before the law. If you kill Campos now, it'll be a callous, brutal act, clearly premeditated. The kind of murder that'll send you straight to the chair. That's a nice plea for Campos. For you, Lomax. I've inquired into your background. You're a talented man. I'd hate to see you squander your life. Again, I say, a nice plea for Campos. All right. Be relentless. I've tried. I've had some complaints that you've been haunting Campos' store. An avenger on the prowl. Now, it's got to stop. Who complained? Campos' wife, Vera. You've been driving her into a nervous breakdown. On Campos himself. Campos himself? Mm-hmm. Campos skipped town. How could I be hounding him? Well, it's right here as far as I know. Right here in town, as a matter of fact. He's been on the phone with me. Did I let something out just now? Lomax, come to your senses. There's a time for grief, and then it's over. If your brother were alive, he'd echo what I said. I am my brother. You're forgetting. I'm here echoing what he says. One face, one mind. An eye for an eye. He's begging me. I'll make you this promise. We'll reinvestigate. We'll try again. We'll put Remo through a ringer to see if his testimony was bought. I stopped listening to you, Gregory, a month ago. A long month ago. Now I'm only listening to my brother. You know, I might kill Campos and never lay a hand on him. You say premeditated murder leads to the chair. I might fool you. I might kill Campos and still leave you with an empty chair. Ben, look. Followed us. We took the yard and he took the yard. We'll be on a train in an hour. You'll be in a coffin in an hour. You hope. This time I'm scared. For a month, holed up like a rat, hiding from the light day and night. I've had enough. This time I'll defend myself. Don't, don't, not that way. The police will ask him for protection just until you get on the train. Lomax cut the wires. He means business. This is the time. The telephone proves it. He's going to come up the stairs. Through the door. pieces, then he'll come. He wants you to suffer and then he'll kill you. That's his trick. That's why he took a month. He wants to drive us crazy, you and me. See if he's still down there. He's not there. He's coming up. Yes. He's coming up to kill me. Kill me. Then be a man for once. At least die like that. I can hear him on the stairs. One at a time. Oh, Max is in no hurry. I can hear him, Vera. He's on the stairs. He's going to come through the door in a minute. Come through a locked door? Yes. He's crazy. He's a ghost. You don't know what he can do. Let him in. Let him in. Lock the door and let him in. No. Yes. He 
kills me or I kill him. You could kill him? Yes. The face. The dead face. It's with me on the streets. It's in my place talking to my wife, ordering coffee. What's wrong, dear? That face should stay where it belongs. I'm going to put it back where it belongs. Back in the grave. I got a right to defend myself. I kill him. I'm free. But all I'm doing is defending myself. The police know that. The district attorney knows that. He's after me. I got a right to defend my life. You've got your way figured out. This time, too. Yeah. This time, too. Raymond. You murdered your own paid witness. Lomax intended it like this all along. He sold you without laying a hand on you. Played on your fears and drove you crazy. And then sent Ramos to you so you'd kill him and sit yourself in the electric chair. But... To send Remo to me. Oh. A moron like Remo. Anybody could fool him. Lomax called him up, changed his voice, and said, Go see Campos. Campos wants to see you. So Remo came running right into your gun. And you'll die, then. You'll die, and Lomax will go free, and it's justice. Lomax! Lomax, your trick worked! You hear me? Never murder your husband, because not only will you become a widow, but he'll resent it. <laughs> Good night. Pleasant dreams.